Hi. Could you do me a favour? Could you meet me at Temple Tube Station? It's going really well. I mean, basically, it's all exactly the same, except for the fact that you have to kind of make allowance for the fact that everybody needs to be temperature checked every morning. Um, everybody gets tested a couple of times a week. There are face masks all the time, both indoors and outdoors for everybody. And, and there's no cross-contamination like touching props and things like that. You can't pass things to people. So it's pretty vigilant and so far so good. What, what's going on? I need a transfusion from you. A blood transfusion? Yeah, I've got a kid in there. You're joking. The nature of the story meant there's a, it's a lot of two-handers, you know, kind of cerebral dramatic sequences that go on that are kind of interesting but don't require uh, us to sort of have any worries about whether we're obeying COVID protocols and stuff. So it's actually a kind of a COVID-friendly show in a weird way. I, I heard it described the first season as, as um, a crazy, you know, crazy show for crazy times. And I would stick by that. I get it though, that guy would do anything. His wife becomes very sick and in an attempt to keep her safe and save her, he has to start making some choices. And what he discovers is that the choices he has to make are nothing like the life he's been leading. He suddenly gets involved with people that he would never have come across in his life as a surgeon. But it's all done for love. And that I think is the crux of it all is that it's for the love of his wife that he makes these choices. Come down there with me one more time. We wanted to make sure that the show was quirky, original, unusual, and a little bit fun. It has a kind of lovely, wry, dark humor that's threaded through it. And it was very hard to find a way of describing it. And ultimately, I think that's an enormous compliment because it means it's its own thing. It's, it's, it's pretty unique.